in Chicago. Um, I move out of my apartment. Woo! Okay, yes, ready, go Cindy Star. Because I'm for real about this. I'm for real, and I'm going to be dedicated tonight. I'm about to shake your show up tonight, sis. <laughs> so let me say this. I know, I've known Cindy for years, actually, for a very, very long time. I know her in real life. She texted me, told me she was single. She wanted to do the show. I said, done deal. Come on Wait, on Monday. Man. And... I didn't know you was coming through with the, the shadow and the cup. What? The right, right with. What? Look at that box. What? We did a Kendra kid from the jump, Sydney. The Period. Kendra kid from the jump. Period, sister. So, so I know you will say this, but, but you are the, yes, you are a transgender queen. I am the transgender queen. Um, I am. Probably one of the most controversial trans women in the industry. So that's where we're going to start off first. Because any man that wants to deal with me, they have to be able to know that I'm very controversial. People hate on me. People love me. People are in between with me. And, you know, I just really want a man that don't give a fuck. Woo! Now, let me ask this from the jump because I've had... And it's so funny because I know you're in real life, so I should have had you on the show a long time ago because I've had other transgender people on my but show. But I was dating and one someone around that time, is, though. I feel like I was everyone's... I was, I was, I was content with someone. someone. That time. I, was, okay. I was good. I was happy and loved, but it, he didn't feel the same about me. It wasn't 100% back, so I had to kick him to the curb. Okay. One thing I want to ask you is, I, I get a lot of transgender men in particular that come on, well, women, excuse me, in particular that come on my show, and they say they want a straight man. And a lot of times, myself sometimes included, um, I've been confused when a transgender woman says they want a straight man because in our mind, straight means you want vagina. Is, but is that not true? Can you break that down from that your perspective? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, I can. I'm going to be completely honest. Any man that is straight and sometimes deals with a trans woman is also considered straight. Because look at me. I mean, I'm from the neck of eye. I just look like a cute girl, right? So if that's what the man is seeing, he's not seeing a man. He's not seeing a guy. He's not seeing a male. He's seeing a female. So if he's attracted to me, that makes him attracted to femininity. So he likes breasts. He likes soft skin because my skin is soft as butter, baby. So it, it, it's, it's nothing gay about that. Nothing gay about liking me. So I'm going to say, yes, he is still straight, sister. So if he cheats on you with a trans woman, he's not gay. If he treats on, so if he has a, a, a if he cheats on his woman with a, a trans woman, uh, no, he's, he's not, not gay. gay. Okay, okay. Let's start from the top. Well, so I know me. a lot, but we got it for those, mm -hmm. those who don't know. Sydney, I know Sydney. Yes, asked, I'm from, you say you're I'm from, from Chicago? Chicago. He's from Chicago. Okay, because of the seven second woman, I asked you a couple questions. I know you don't have any kids. But what's your zodiac sign and what do you do for a living? Wait seven seconds. I am an Aquarius, a water sign. And I am a reality TV personality. I do music as well. Just haven't hit yet with the music. Um, I'm an all around entertainer. And, you know, I do a lot of OnlyFans on the side. Um, <laughs> uh, but I just go where the money goes. And I'm actually very appalled that I don't have a man right now. I'm very appalled because I'm, you know, beautiful. I, I have a nice body. I have a great personality. I give you the world. Like, I'm going to be real. In my relationships, I do what the man do sometimes. I'm going to fly you out. I'm going to put money in your pocket. And I'm very open to all. Like, I don't mind. Like, I, you don't have to be in the industry for me to date you. 
So you can be like somebody that's just working at Burger King. And if you're cute, you got a sex body, sexy body, you go, you kind of roughing me up in the bedroom, you know, and I don't care about age as long as you're legal. Okay, so let's break it down directly. What kind I'm of man I'm just looking for a smuggler, juggler nigga that's going to put me right in my place. He has, you know, has some type of, you know, personality that can make me laugh. Somebody that likes to go out and party and drink like me. I'm a nightlife girl. So I'll, I'll, as long as you can get with me on that and accept that I'm known, if we go out, people are going to recognize me. And don't feel embarrassed when you're with me. That's all I need. You have to be attractive. I like a guy with a nice body. Nice body, that's my deal breaker. You got to have a nice body. Cause... How old are you, Sydney? Wait seven seconds. Well, Kendra, let's just say I'm a hot 27. I've been 27 for the last five years now. <laughs> no, I mean... So, Cindy, you got to say age. But I'm, I'm 33. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, 33. Now, what are your deal breakers besides not um, having a good other body? Other deal breakers, okay. No bad breath. I know we all can get that sometime, but don't have it around me. No bad breath. I can't. Like, if you <laughs> with bad breath, baby, I'm going to be turned off all the way. I don't mind if you got a little man, you know, must going on down there. That's okay. Because, you know, a man, they be working, they be out, maybe playing basketball. That's okay. But the breath department, mm -mm. if you come at me like that, now, if we laying down all night, wake up, that's okay. Morning breath, that's happening. I get it. But if we in a regular four in the afternoon and we out having drinks at hookah and I'm talking to you and I get a whiff, uh-uh. Black. Because I'm always be on I got gum in my mouth right now. I ain't never going to get caught slipping. Trust. Any man that's dealt with me, I can pretty much, he could pretty much vouch and say he's never had a bad breath moment with Sidney Star. Never. <laughs> we see somebody walking in the background. Who in, that, who in your house? That's just my, uh, that's just one of my, uh, my little slaves in the back. Get your ass out of the room. Get your ass out of the room. Get Wait, two people. Get your ass out of the room. I don't know. You just got a deep voice. You just got, you made a deep voice. What happened? You didn't change the voice when you got the room. Get your ass out of the room, bro. I ain't playing with you. I'm trying to find your man. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kendra. You crazy, no, 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 no. You are crazy as hell. hell. I really need. I will, I, I'm a sugar okay, mama well, material too. All by right, the way, so, I was gonna say. So, you, does the guy have to look a certain way, and does he have to make a certain amount of money? Wait seven seconds. Answer both of those questions. So, no, he doesn't have to make a, a certain amount of money because I make my own coin, and you know I make the coin. So um, I got, I'm good on the I'm good on the coin department. Now, if you want to give me some more extra money, I'm gonna take it. Boom. And the looks that I like, I love me a dreadhead. I love me a dreadhead. I'm kind of in, I'm into the caramel light skin dudes, but I love a chocolate nigga too. So it don't really matter on that. Like I said, as long as you're legal, I might prefer 19 and up. I'll deal with you. You gotta. 21 and up for our show. Yeah. But you go as low as that. You're legal. Because 19 year olds these days don't look 19 year olds. They look wrong. But as long as you're legal, you're, you got some sense in your head, that's fine. Like, I'm fine. That's the lowest I'll go. 19 and up. And like I said, I have money. So if I like you, I'm going to fly you out. I'm going to put a little money in your pocket. And here's my other deal breaker. No shade. You have to be hairy down there. You have to be no, hairy right. down in the genital department. If you're shaved, that's a deal breaker for me. I'm done. I'll talk to you in three months. 
when you let that shit grow like a werewolf. Yep. Woo, you have damn. to be hairy. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, my hairy is my Okay, face. you did it already. Hairy. hairy. Hairy legs, all of that. Hairy. Hairy balls. Okay. So you did it. You did it already, but I'm gonna have you do it again. The Kendra Cam. That's when you stand up and we see your okay, full body. Let me get it together. And I have the cousins think 19 is. I think 19 is young too. A lot of people are thinking Actually, 19 is too I don't young think so. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Let them know they have to be okay with me being pre-op. I'm a pre-op transgender female. I don't know what that means. I'll, Should I know? I'll, I'll, I'll let you know in the Oh, you still have it. You still have Okay. You. you look, your body looks great. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so, okay, you look good. Pre-op yes, means you I haven't am, had the change. I am currently pre-op. Um, I am working on silk deciding if I want to go all the way. But I feel like I'm such an amazing personality. A man is going to accept me for the girl that I am right now. So, yes, he has to be okay with that. He has to not be um, embarrassed to be around me because, um, you know, I'm a people person. And when I'm out, people recognize me. I don't want you to try to hide your face when we're together. You feel me? So, if you could do that, I'm a game. I like to go and take trips. And I like to have somebody with me. So I don't mind doing what I got to do to make the relationship work. You feel me? I'm known. I'm, I may be out there a public figure, but I'm still a regular human being. And I have feelings. <laughs> and a bitch get lonely. I've been lonely lately. So I'm really looking for something new. Uh, and I really thought about you. I said, maybe I can find me a man on Kendall's show. Okay. So let's get to this part. When was your last um, relationship? My last, last real one, I was there probably a good few months ago. It was been about a good four or five months ago. Um, okay. We was going strong. Like I was seeing this dude every other day. He didn't even live in the same city as me, but I made sure I saw him. I put him on a, a plane, train, whatever. Put him up in a hotel. Like I, I'm a good woman. I'm a good woman. Like, I may be trans and all, but I provide for my man. Okay. So, you don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. About four days ago. <laughs> but it was only oral. It was only oral. I was giving oral. Oh, God. I was, was giving. You giving I was giving or, or what did you receive? Yes, and I have to be okay with being protected. That's another thing. I do everything with condoms. I'm very protected. I don't do, that's my other thing. Number one, if you're okay with being protected, even when given oral, I use protection. Okay, so what are three flaws you think you have to work on? Three flaws, with one. Three flaws that I have to work on is being too damn nice. That's one. I'm a very nice person. And I really got to work on that. Number two, my other flaw. I like to watch porn a lot. I really need to have a info when it comes to watching porn. I literally watch porn from the morning to the noon to night. And it'd be like, put the phone down, bitch. Like, I literally... Have to, I work, I really need to work on that. Like, I, I dead ass. Like, porn has gotten me late for being on set with shows, all that, because I'm trying to get one off. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, so I really, that's the second flaw. Um, my third flaw is, what can I say? Stepping out the box. I like to step, be safe all the time. That is my one of my biggest flaws. I try to stay safe in my safe zone. Sometimes I just got to step out the box and, and be free and try something new and different. 
So those are my three flaws. I have a lot more, but those are my three major big flaws. Okay. And last question, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Wait seven seconds. A guy would be lucky <laughs> to be with me because, first of all, look at me, baby. I got these nice titties. I got this pretty face. I got this luscious booty. I got this great personality. I'm doing well for my career. I may not be exactly where I want to be, but I'm doing great. I'm going to be on Wild and Out. Nick Cannon's Wild and Out, June 22nd on VH1. So your girl's still on TV. You know, I do a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm that girl. Like, I'm going to be the first trans girl on Wild and Out. So why wouldn't a man want to take a chance on me? Like, yeah, the only flaw that you might say is, yeah, I'm a trans woman. But other than that, if I was a genetic born woman, I'd probably be like in every music video right now. I would be like top notch Alexa Scott, no shade. But God chose me to be his transgender child and I'm, I have to do nothing but accept that and enjoy. Thank you, Lord. I've been here this long. He's kept me safe. I'm here for a reason. I'm still here for a reason. And I feel like I was the chosen one because I could have been a natural genetic woman and just been like all the other pretty bitches that's in the industry. But I'm a pretty transgender bitch. So I feel like you take a chance on me, baby. I got two niggas names tattooed on me. It might be room for three. It might be room for a third person. They say the third time is the charm. But wait, those guys. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get rid of their names. I still have it on me. I, I, every, the reason why I kept their names is because it has a lesson behind it. Every name has a lesson behind it. I one, one, I'm going to let you know one lesson, though, one behind, lesson from behind one of them. I went to jail for the first time Tell dealing me. with this man that I have on me. So I want to remember that always. Let me ask you this. Is your goal to have a committed relationship? I would, love to, have, no, I would love to find another committed yeah. relationship. If not, I'm cool with the one night stand too. So hit the DMs if you're sexy. <laughs> we can do that too. No shade. Because at this point, look, sometimes that's a stress reliever. Go ahead and do what I do. You cute, I'm cute. We do what we do. Betty Boo. And that, clean me up when you're ready again. How you doing? But yeah. <laughs> Listen, um, I want to just say this. I, as I mentioned at the top of it, I know Sydney in real life. I've known her throughout my career. I can tell why you are always on television because you are a firecracker. <laughs> and I think any guy that dates you um, has to accept and celebrate you as a firecracker. So let's do it. Give the guy your Instagram page. They're going to DM you. Everyone, hey, sexy fellas, if you out there, my Instagram is Sydney Star Bad. S I D N E Y S T A R R B A D. Sydney Star Bad. And if you if you're really nasty, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Okay, I'm happy you brought that back up. I forgot to ask. What are you doing um, on OnlyFans? So. <laughs> Hold up, Matt. Hold up. Shut up. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I do on my homie fans is I do a little twerking. I do a little modeling how like I did for you. Um, there are some exclusives, but you have to pay extra for the exclusives with, you know, with my collabs. Okay. But I'm really, it's more, it's just showing the essential beauty of a transgender female's body. Like, I mean, I'm I'm young still. I'm about to show this bitch off until the crumbs fall off. Thank you so much, Kendra, for having right, me. So I, think you I'm, I feel like I'm going to find somebody. I, I, I really do. You that Well, listen, you're going to be the talk of the town. You know you're going to be a highlight. So your DMs are going to be flooded. So just be, and I know you can handle anything. And, and Kendra, tell them so to just watch be ready for it. Tell everybody, I, make sure y'all watch me on Wild and Out. Nick Cannon's Wild and Out, June 22nd on VH1. It's going to be a lit episode. 
Um, all I can say is it's more to come after that. I also did a Tyler Perry show called Bruh. It comes on BET Plus. Um, and I'm I'm lit. I'm lit like a pit. You lit like a pit. All right, bye, baby girl. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, Bria. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. On, on Sydney, you know, slaves. She had slaves, only fans, still got a penis, masturbates a lot like this. Wait a minute. She said, we don't know. She, she said she watched a lot of porn. Oh, she said she masturbates? Oh, I missed that. She said she watched a lot of porn. She said she masturbates? What you, know what you think she's doing? What you think she's doing? She's just watching oh, it like, I just like singles was... live? You know what's going to happen in porn, Kendra. It has the same, it's the same plot. Every episode of porn is the same thing. Talking about, I ain't know she masturbate. Like, what you think she watching? <laughs> I guess I just didn't it's think the about same thing. Her masturbating. Every episode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, got all them signatures on them, like the Declaration of Independence. I got room for one more. How many <laughs> quit writing all them niggas' names on you? You are you are not a contract. Okay, but that's all I got to say. I'm done.